so assalamu alaikum everyone i think all are very happy so today i'm gonna t uh, discuss and analyze about some questions in mini tab so at first i need to take the data here so i have to press ctrl and o So here I will choose this data and here is my data so I put it on my mini tab so then my the first question is fit a linear trend model with the data so I need to fit the linear trend model so what should I do I need to click on stat then here is time series and trend analysis then here i have to put the variable production is on here then which type of model i actually need i need actually linear trend model that's why i i selected the linear trend here then i have to select ok so here actually i got the result of fit a linear trend model so the fitted trend equation is that so this is the linear trend model fit, fitted trend equation so here is the graph so let's move on the next question that is fit a exponential trend model with the data so this time again i have to click on a stat then time series then trend analysis then i have to select the uh, production again so here is is that then i have to select the exponential growth because of that the question is fit a exponential trend model so then i have to select okay then i will get the then i get the fit exponential trend model so this model is fitted trend model equation is y equal to that that is actually the exponential trend model with the data so here is the values of MAD and MSD and now here is the graph about exponential trend model so the third question is that which of the two model you would prefer and why so which model is fit so where we uh, need where we're gonna fit a model which is fit then we have to look on here the MAD value and MSD value which is more close to one uh, or which is very smaller that is the fitted model so in my first question the linear trend the MAD and the MSD value is very high like 18.863 MSD 522.520 and the exponential trend the MAD and MSD value is 0, 0.00 something as as it's very close to one so I can definitely say that the second trend model actually exponential trend model is much fitted so I will go for the next question that is what are the expected production of the industry in the year 2022 to 2014 so I need to forecast things so then firstly again I have to select stat then I have to select time series then trend analysis then right, I have to generate the forecast then I have to select the generate forecast so forecast for which number I need to find 2011 to 2014 that is number of four so I have to uh, put the four on number of forecast and starting from origin from which origin I will start for this 10 origin that's why I have to put on 10 on here then I have to select 
storage so that I can store the data uh, forecasting data on the table so I have I am selecting forecast so then okay again okay so here I got the forecasting data about 2011 to 2014 so here those are the forecasting data so let's move on the next question that is use the Durbin version test to check the presence of autocorrelation in the data so then I have to select again stat then regression again regression fit regression model then in the y-axis I have to select production and these predictors I have to select the years then what should I do what should I need to do I have to select on the results I actually need the Durbin version statistic so I select the Durbin version statistic then ok and again ok and actually I get the regression equation about Durbin version so here is the regression equation this is the coefficient table model summary and the Durbin version statistic is that 0 0.585602 so here for the all thank you all for your very good patience on here and hit a subscribe button and like my video thank you all